Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in windy but partially cloudy and there's a sun that popped out, Amsterdam. And today we have for you our 10 don'ts for visiting Amsterdam, okay? And so let's get started. The first don't I have for you when you come to Amsterdam is don't be stupid with the drugs, okay? If you don't do drugs, don't start. I mean, a lot of people come here because they're like, look, I'm coming to Amsterdam, I have to do drugs. And sometimes people feel pressure to do them when they come here. Look, if you don't wanna do drugs, don't. You don't have to. The Dutch don't do drugs like the tourists do, so you can enjoy the city instead of just getting high. So just be careful with that. And if you are gonna do drugs, be smart about it, okay? Make sure you're going to a coffee shop, okay? That's where they sell the drugs, you get the stuff there. Make sure you go read through the menus, talk to the people that are there, so you can figure out what's gonna be best for you and your experience level and things like that. But just, just don't be stupid with it, because I've seen a lot of tourists having some really bad times in Amsterdam because they did drugs the wrong way, okay? And, and don't buy the drugs off the street. They have signs everywhere saying it. Every website will tell you that, and I can't stress that enough. Do not buy the drugs on the street. You just buy from the coffee shop and go that way, okay? And my second don't, because we're just gonna do two here for the red light district. And the second don't I have for you is don't take pictures of girls in the windows. You know, the prostitutes that are there, look, don't take their picture. I've never seen anybody getting attacked by it like they say in the websites and online and stuff like that. I've never seen that personally. Um, but just in general, it's kind of frowned upon. So try not to take any pictures of them when you're there. Just don't do that, okay? So those are just two little red light district don'ts that we do have. Um, but I will say my third don't is don't think that Amsterdam is just the red light district. The red light district is this little tiny part of this great big beautiful city. Go out and explore more than that. Look, I don't do drugs and I don't go to prostitutes, but I still go to the red light district to check it out. But I go during the day because I feel more comfortable there than at night, okay? Because the thing is, I still enjoy Amsterdam because there's so many great culture to see here. Yes, you can go to the Rijks Museum behind me. You get your I Amsterdam picture, of course. When you go there, you go to the Van Gogh Museum. It's right over here. There's national museums all over. I mean, it is the capital of the Netherlands here. And so there's a lot of great museums and a lot of great culture when it's here and you gotta do it outside of the red light district so don't think it's just the red light district here and one of those places you should see when you are here is the Anne Frank house and my next don't is don't expect to just walk up and walk into the Anne Frank house the lines are insane Jocelyn was here with her sister and a friend of hers and they wanted to go and they saw the line and it scared them off because it was that long you really need to pre-book your tickets to the Anne Frank house it is a very moving exhibit a very moving situation how they explain everything there it's done extremely well with the house and the museum and everything and i highly recommend it but once you know you're coming to amsterdam book ahead because otherwise forget about it you're not going to get well you can get in but it'll be a long wait and sometimes you come later in the afternoon you might not get in because they stop selling tickets my fifth don't for you is don't skip a canal tour yes they are cheesy yes they are touristy yes the guys sometimes are a little strange or interesting or whatever when you're on there but honestly it's one of the quintessential things of doing when you come here to Amsterdam is to get on one of the canal boats and just go around because what's cool is you go around and you see the beautiful architecture all over the town and you'll see the, the little thin buildings it looks like they're gonna fall over on top of you and it's just gorgeous here and that's how I fell in love with Amsterdam because my first experience I mean I was in college of course I went to the red light district and we drank and had fun and did crazy stuff and all kinds of things but after a while it kind of wore on me and as I've come over the years I spent less and less time in the red light district because I prefer enjoying the beautiful culture and the architecture and the museums and the canals and the canal tours give you a nice background of the city as you go through and they'll point things out to you and you get a good feel of it and that's why I say is don't skip it yes it's touristy yes it's cheesy but do do it okay now our next don't for you is don't feel like you have to eat in a restaurant every single meal. So basically, don't skip the food halls, don't skip the food trucks and stuff like that. Because the Dutch have a lot of really tasty little treats you can snack on. I mean, heck, there's vending machine restaurants you can go to to get a little croquette or something like that. And when you go around, yes, try the herring from the herring monger and yes, go have some of the cheese and little things like that. Or yes, go get your little, I don't know what you call it, your little funnel. <laughs> of fries and mayonnaise, it's so good here. But a lot of people when they travel think, oh, I should only eat in restaurants. No, no, no. Here, don't scoop out on going to the food hall and trying 20 different things. Don't skip out on the food trucks. Don't skip out on the kiosk because that's some of the best, tastiest things here. Those little tiny pancake things, just get it from a kiosk and eat that. They're great. Butter and powdered sugar, <gasps> so good, yummy. 
Now we're gonna get serious here for number seven. Our seventh don't for you is don't walk in the bike path. Look, if you're not sure what the bike path is, usually it's red, okay? Think red dead, red dead tourist, okay? Because the bikes go through here and you'll see people ride bikes all the time, all over the place. So don't walk in the bike lane because you will almost get killed. And I say that in our shocks video is like how much you almost get killed here. And so do be careful with that. But also kind of a don't with don't walk in the bike path. If you are renting a bike in here, if it's a pedestrian zone, don't ride your bike through the pedestrian zone. Because you'll see signs that say, this is you know no bike riding here, walk your bike with you or walk your scooter with you, however you want to say it. And you'll see the scooters on there too, but don't walk in those bike lanes. It can be a little bit dangerous, so watch out for that. Now my eighth don't for you is, don't let the aggressive beggars and aggressive drunks get to you. This city is gorgeous. The aggressive beggars, and this is one of the things I talk about in other videos, there's very aggressive beggars here. Don't let them get to you. Just keep walking, say no. Don't even talk to them, say no and walk away. You know, just, just stay away from them. And if you see a group of drunks, you see the beggars up there, you know, look, make sure you're not gonna hit by a bike when you cross the street, but cross the street, go to the other side to avoid them and don't let them get you down. Because that's one of the things, if you come right away, you come out of the main station, you take a left, go to the red light district, you're getting harassed by the beggars who speak great English, by the way, and they keep bothering you and then you get the drugs and all this kind of stuff and vomit flying this way. That was kind of my brother's and I first experience here. It can really turn you off, but don't let it because this city is fantastic and there's so much more to enjoy. So don't let them get you down. Now our ninth don't for you is don't hesitate to book your accommodation. Once you book your flights to Amsterdam, book your accommodation because there's not a lot of cheap options here outside of hostels and I don't really want to stay in a hostel with a bunch of drunk high college backpackers, okay? So make sure you book your accommodation early so you can get something because prices here are insane for accommodation, especially on weekends, okay? So do not wait to book accommodation. And what we like to do is actually we like to rent apartments. It just goes a lot better there, okay? And following along with that hotel option is don't pack a lot when you come here. Look, you have these really steep stairs in a lot of the hotels and apartments here that you're going to stay in, and it can be really dangerous to try to pull up a head heavy suitcase. So I would say is don't pack a lot, pack lightly, okay? And my last don't I have for you for coming to Amsterdam is don't be afraid to venture outside of Amsterdam. Look, the Netherlands has a great transportation network. You can get all over the country very quickly and there's a lot of really great day trips you can do from Amsterdam. I'm gonna go to Harlem later today and check that out to see the great architecture there. There's a couple of nice museums. When I kept beginning my trip, I went out to Leiden, which was like 30 minutes away. Harlem was like 15, 20 minutes on the train. 30 minutes to Leiden. You can go to the Kuchenhof and ride your bikes through the tulips there. That's more April and May, but you can do that. I mean, there's all the stuff you can do that's right nearby. So don't be afraid to go and go to the central station, grab a train and head out. And I will say, going along with that, don't be afraid to stay in Harlem or Leiden or somewhere else if you're going to be staying in Amsterdam because you can actually get a cheaper accommodation there and just take the trains in because if you're not going to be going out and partying and stuff like that, there's so many train connections, you just go in and out could save you some money that way. Anyway, I hope that helped you know a little bit more about the don'ts for here in Amsterdam. If you want to learn more, five things you love and hate about Amsterdam, that's from a few years ago, so the things have changed a little bit, but it's still out there. We've got 10 things that'll shock you about Amsterdam, what you should know before you come to the Netherlands, how do you tip in the Netherlands, 10%, save you your time right there, all on our website at waltersworld.com. Also, we're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. If you do click that subscribe button, we put out a new travel video every Wednesday and Saturday. So anyway, I'll say bye from Amsterdam.